Estamos abrindo aqui a, a sessão especial sobre políticas de inovação em setores maduros, uma visão comparativa entre Brasil e Estados Unidos. É, como se trata de um evento onde temos convidados americanos, a língua vai ser o inglês, né? e a partir de agora, então, vou começar a falar em inglês. Well, our event is being organized né? uh, towards the discussion of innovation policies in legacy sectors, what we call in Brazil more or less a and we want to have a comparative view between the United States and Brazil. Uh, participating to the event, we have now in the opening session, uh, Professor Julio Adler, who is from Pences, who's been very important for our organization. Uh, I want to acknowledge also uh, uh, Professor uh, Nicholas von Ortes, who is the coordinator of the INSISPO project, Innovation Systems Strategy and Policy. Uh, this is a SPEC project of uh, FAPESP, and uh, he, this project is responsible also to the, uh, of the organization of uh, this event, no? and uh, we will have uh, a, a round table no? uh, about uh, legacy sectors. Well, first we will have a speech of uh, Professor Bill Bovillian no? uh, in technology innovation legacy sectors, and after we have the commentaries or comments of uh, Professor Nicola von Ortes and Professor Mariano Laplante, no? who is here. Uh, which is belong to the Institute of Economics, and uh, he's uh, presently a, a president of CGEE. Uh, so uh, we start with a few words uh, from Julio, and after I'm going to present uh, this session uh, more in detail. No? Uh, so please, Julio. Thank you. Uh, as I am not used to use English, I wrote yesterday some words for this occasion. First, I want to welcome all those who are here to participate in this forum, Innovation Policies in Legacy Sector, a comparative view between the United States and Brazil. This forum was proposed by Professor André Furtado from DPCT, uh, Institute of Geosciences of Unicamp, from, uh, for us, to, from Pences, who readily embraced the idea. What's Pences? Quickly, Pences is an academic, an academic space linked to rector's office, responsible for promoting discussions which contribute to formulation of public policies for the development of society. Uh, in all these aspects. Uh, in our almost uh, three years of existence, we have done about 22 forums on various topics, um, high school, violence against women, racism, Brazilian political system, the last one, last week, uh, <coughs> the Brazilian multi-purpose nuclear reactor, and many others. Uh, this forum, these forums are filmed, uh, <clears throat> and what is said here can be accessed via internet, and even, even a small book will be, is to be edited. In addition, our journalist, Guilherme, who is here, is writing a book about the technological environment surrounding Unicamp. Maybe it can answer a question of whether this park was the result of a long-term planning very rare in Brazil for the area of electronic semiconductors and telecommunications areas so important to the contemporary world in the last 50 years. 
We are delighted to have here this morning three experts in planning related to science and technology. I think this, this is an underrated area in our country, unfortunately. We especially thank the presence of Professor Bill Bonvillian, director of MIT, who is responsible for the relationship of this institution with federal agencies and had been advisor of the American Senate in the same area for many years. We also thank to Nicolas Vonortas, professor of George Washington University, awarded with excellent share of FAPESP, and project coordinator on developing innovation system with DPCT Unicamp, and professor Mariano Laplane from our Institute of Economy, which is in the front of Center for Man 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 Management and Strategic Studies, G CGEE of the federal government. I am sure that we will see a very rich and opportune forum. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm going to make a, a small introduction of the thematic, general thematic of the, this session. Uh, I think it's very important for us because talks about uh, traditional legacy sectors, and they have a uh, great importance. So, uh, as uh, inspired by the words of Bill Bavillian, uh, we know that uh, science, technology, policy, technology, uh, policy in uh, developed countries, especially in the United States, are very focused on the, uh, the so-called uh, high-tech sectors. Uh, but uh, at the other side, uh, legacy sector have a very great importance in, in the economy of the, this country. No? Uh, as uh, we could understand in the United States, uh, uh, where the efforts to, to achieve and maintain technology le le leadership are very important in the country, legacy sectors. Uh, including what he says about energy, health service, much of the industry, construction, mine and finance, public administration account for nearly two-thirds of uh, GDP. Yeah? And uh, in, in these sectors, uh, innovation is not a, a, a great matter of uh, science and technology policy. No? So we, we think uh, uh, the, the contribution of uh, Professor Bill Bovillian is to make a reflection how we can improve uh, the, the science and technology policy in this sector. And uh, I think it's, it's a great opportunity for us to make a, a good reflection or a better reflection about what is happening in countries like uh, Brazil, no? um, in developing countries or Latin American countries. No? In, in these countries, uh, I would say that the legacy sectors have a, a much a larger importance than in the United States. Uh, if we account uh, the participation of uh, what we call uh, uh, high technology uh, industry like pharmaceutical, electronics, aircraft, uh, and space uh, industry, uh, their value add are only 6% of the value add of the industry. No? This means that uh, traditional sectors defined as those that where the industry is already oligopolistic and the product and process technology are well established, no? are responsible for about 94% uh, of our value added and more or less employment in, in industry. No? So uh, low, uh, in, in if you account uh, in the expenditure of uh, R&D, no? low and medium technology sectors in Brazil are almost responsible for 90% of our internal expenditure no, in manufacturing industry. 
And so we can say that the uh, legacy sector are really prominent no, in the Brazilian innovation system. No? And, and among uh, this sector, no, I would say that the uh, energy sector no, stand out um, uh, and have a very great importance uh, in the uh, economic activity and also in our and the efforts. Uh, one of the, our particularities in Brazil is that uh, uh, we have a, a, a very large scope of policy directed for uh, legacy sector. No? You have, uh, especially in energy sector, you have uh, numerous institutional uh, mechanisms created since the, the end of the 90s, uh, uh, which uh, were directed to improving innovation in, in this sector. Uh, in the, this uh, reflects uh, um, more or less in the creation of the sectoral funds uh, at the end of uh, the 90s, no? and uh, also the, the R&D programs of uh, the ANEL, which is the agency responsible for our electricity and uh, R&D funds of a ANP, which is responsible for oil and uh, biofuel industry. Uh, and also uh, recently, since uh, three years ago, or a little bit more, uh, the National Development Bank in Brazil engaged more forcefully uh, promoting uh, uh, not only industrial investment, but also innovation in this kind of sectors. Now you have uh, new lines of uh, investments related to innovation, for example, in biofuels industry. So we, we can say that uh, Brazilian experience shows uh, a greater concern about the role of government with the legacy sector. But, uh, however, if we look uh, more in detail, we, we can see that the choice of this kind of science and technology policy uh, are very limited in their uh, strategy. No? They are not very highly innovating. They are more diffusion-oriented, no? not so much in the uh, uh, borderline uh, innovation. So uh, we, we have, uh, we are missing some opportunities, I think, in Brazil. So bringing the, the American experience to the Brazilian context uh, is very instructive. No? Because the uh, United States uh, have uh, an economy like ours, very anchored in the natural resource endowments. Like, and this aspect is expressed by great influence, for example, in the United States of, uh, of fossil fuel energy you know, industry that plays a very large role in the economy. So uh, we think that uh, reflecting on the need, which uh, will be talk, uh, told about Bill Bovin, to develop new models of innovation to promote you know, more uh, pragmatic change in legacy sectors you know, may be very ref, uh, relevant to think about uh, these sectorial policies uh, oriented to these uh, legacy sectors. So uh, the, the objective of our seminar will be to reflect uh, more about uh, this.